Okay, it's on. Okay, welcome. Um, so here we are at Mint Builder. You know, this is the time right now. And Mint Builder has been around for quite some time. Uh, I've been in the industry since the late 90s, um, in the physical industry since 2007. Uh, Mint Builder has been here since 2017. So we're going into our sixth year of business. And I don't believe there's ever been the most perfect time to get started in owning precious metals than where we are right now. We're about to see something that happens once in a great, great while, maybe once every 25 to 40 years, somewhere in that range. And, you know, it's happened in, you know, in the past and we're about to experience it in the biggest way um, that we've ever seen in the last hundred years, I believe. And so we're going to go ahead and jump into it here and I'll explain a little bit more about that as we go uh, and get started. So if you have any questions, um, go ahead and type them into the chat and I will uh, come back to those at the end um, or when there's an appropriate place to break as we go through this. So let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, so first of all, our currency is on its way to zero. Um, so what can you do to protect yourself? That's the important thing uh, everybody needs to know. And basically here at Mint Builder, I'm gonna tell you what you can do. Um, I'm gonna tell you, you know, give you some ideas and show you things that we're doing here. But basically Mint Builder is set up to help you get on the right path um, to your own financial wellness, um, to start growing your wealth, to be able to, you know, relax a little bit. We get, you know, with when it comes to, you know, financial anxiety, you know, there's, there's a definite thing going on right now. Everybody knows about it. Um, people are saying it's, you know, inflation, it's this, it's that. It's more to it than that. Um, it's something, like I said, that we haven't seen before that's um, um, kind of mimics things in the past, but in a greater way that's about to happen. Um, but first of all, most dream of, you know, achieving financial security, you know, our, my generation, um, it was my grandparents were probably the last generation. Uh, my grandparents are, you know, 90, the ones who are still around now are in their you know, early nineties. They, they knew what needed to be done. It was a easy process. You know, you just follow the, the same path. And of course that started changing as our money became worth less and less and didn't have the power to buy, you know, what it used to buy. And yes, I understand our income has went up, but it hasn't kept up with the level of the decrease of our fiat currency. So achieving financial security, becoming wealthy, you know, living on your own terms, these are all goals, these are aspirations, these are things that people are trying to achieve in life. Um, but the reality is that many will never realize their dreams and it has a lot to do with our current economy, but in reality, it has to do with our human nature. And, you know, we're oftentimes missing the right actions that it takes to accomplish that. And behavior is really what promotes success and ensure or it ensures we stay broke so it's something about that it's something about um the idea of of being able to learn and, and move forward and you know when I, I put on here wealth is not luck you know it's kind of a funny thing because you know it seems like those who put things in place properly are the luckiest ones uh, in the world so if you're going to have any luck, you have to position yourself properly to be able to receive some of that luck, if you will. Um, it's hard to get lucky if you're not doing the right things. And really it's all about first getting some education. I'm not talking about the school, I'm talking about university. I'm talking about real life education. Um, here at Minbelter, more so, we're focused directly on education of wealth. For example, um, reading the newest book by Michael Loney, um, you know, gold and silver, you know, the great gold and silver rush of the 21st century. I believe we're, we're he's 100% right. And we're tapping into that right now. Uh, we're seeing unprecedented amount of new customers and clients coming into Mint Builder right now. Uh, we're seeing gold and silver being sold at record levels. And we're seeing prices of gold and silver starting to, you know, slowly graduate, you know, graduate and go up and up and up to where eventually it's going to reach where it's supposed to be at, where it was, before it was suppressed. And we're far from it right now. So now is the perfect opportunity to buy. So that education um, is so paramount. And then it's about planning. So once you know what you need to know, then you can plan. And then it's all about consistency. Keep following through with the plan, with the plan, keep doing it. And then all of a sudden you get lucky. And that's, that's what real luck is. That's what I think of real luck anyway. All right. So saving is the first step. I'm not talking about saving 
cash under your mattress. I'm not talking about save, definitely not talking about saving it into the bank. Um, as we just saw SVP and some other smaller banks, I believe there's gonna be a lot more banks to come. that are gonna be closing down. Um, it's kind of like, there is, you know, they're being weeded out, if you will, the weak ones, um, the stronger banks will continue to get stronger. Um, and the so-called never going to bail out the banks again is that's not going to be 100% true. There's already plans in place to make sure that certain ones are going to be taken care of. Um, but, you know, most mistake that make the mistake of saying, okay, well, I want to save, but first, I need to make $10,000 more a year you know, or, you know, $250 more a month or $500 more a month. It's not about how much you want to make. If you don't start saving what you, you know, squeezing a little bit of savings now, it's not going to happen when you make more money. Uh, I can tell you this firsthand. It doesn't work. You know, you can, you can go from making 50,000 a year to $150,000 a year. And if you, it's again about that, having a plan and having a consistency and starting where you're at. Now, the, it's all about education, planning, consistency, as I said, but we have to start with an emergency fund, uh, especially now. It's very important to get as fast as you can to get some kind of a fund built in, uh, making sure that we're ready to go. And this is the time to do it. It's not it's not going to be a year from now um, or even next month. Now is the time to make sure that happens. Eventually, you want to have six months and 12 months put away um, in a very secure way of holding money. And I'll, we'll, we'll get into talking about that a little bit. And that is expediting your savings with assets, um, not cash. Um, you know, you do need cash. Um, let's be honest, we got to pay our bills. You know, we got to live, we got to you know go to the grocery store, we got to do these kind of things. We got to keep our lights on. But um, what do the wealthy do? You know, talking about Elon Musk being worth like, you know, 100, 200 billion dollars. Do you think he has $150 billion sitting in his bank account? No, of course he doesn't. He hasn't invested. He has it in precious metals. He has it in, um, you know, uh, other commodities. He has it in things like this. He's not sitting on it in the bank account. Um, if he needed all of a sudden to go get $100 billion, it's going to be a hard thing because he has to sell assets. And that is what the wealthy do. And that's what we need to do. Um, not necessarily follow what they're all saying, but kind of just mimic what they're doing on a smaller scale and work our way up to it. Um, so that's kind of how that works. Now, precious metals are assets, okay? Um, we've been duped into thinking that our currency currency is an asset. Our currency is actually a liability. The more currency you hold, the more liability you hold. All of the money that's being printed right now, all the fiat currency around the world, not just the US dollar, all of that is actually debt. So every time they print one more dollar, that is a dollar of debt. So now when they print a dollar, they actually owe more money. And so how do they get to pay off the debt? By printing more money, which means what? They owe more debt. So it's a snowball effect. Um, this is bad math. This is horrible math. This is something that we don't want to participate in. As, as much as possible, we want to steer clear of it. Again, we have to have some currency, but we, don't, we want to stay out of this debt process between the Federal Reserve and the governments and, and the you know, central banking system. Now, again, all paper fiat currency, most mistakenly call money, it's not money, <clears throat> has one destination and that's zero. The US dollar is one of, is the longest standing fiat currency in recorded history right now. Uh, it's due to be changed. And like I said, there is stuff happening right now that will change this. You know, we're talking about um, potentially having a, you know, um, a, a digital currency, as you probably already know about. There's talks of, you know, moving into that direction. I don't think it's a matter of, if it happens, but more like when it happens, um, and it has to be something that the you know the banks have control of, and the government has their hands in as well. Uh, so this all started. So just this little, I'm going to just take a minute here and explain something that's really crazy, right? So in 1913, the Federal Reserve was created. The Federal Reserve is not um, the government's uh, treasury. It used to be the treasury had the you know printed real money that was backed by gold before this, but then all of a sudden the Federal Reserve came in. This is just a private business, really. It was just a group of people that made some, um, some, some really um, kind of devious, but really smart ideas on how they could make a lot of money and work with the government. And so the Federal Reserve came around in, in 1913, and we had some major stuff happen, as you know, of the war, um, and then all of a sudden it turned into the Great Depression. And then all of a sudden what happened was, um, in 1933, 
for the first time in the United States history, we it, it was illegal to own gold. Um, you could hold, you know, jewelry, uh, which is something that we carry here in the builder. Uh, it's called bullion jewelry. So that way you're able to travel with your wealth and, and take it wherever you go because it doesn't have the same kind of issues that it has if you're carrying uh, currency with you. But anyway, uh, you know, bullion in, in, was not allowed to be held at this point. And it's really funny because really constitutionally, it's borderline breaking the, what our constitution has set in place. And, and you know, we are supposed to be able to always have gold. But the reason why they said that they put this in place was to protect us because they wanted to make sure that we're spending money so that we don't get into a worse depression that we're already, than we're already in. And so people were hoarding gold and they wanted to make sure people kept spending false. That information was spun on purpose to make it sound like it was actually a good thing and that the government was actually looking out for us. Truth, the Federal Reserve was in big trouble. So uh, Roosevelt took, made this mandate, um, the government during that time made the mandate and they said, okay, we need to stop the hoarding gold. We need to, you know, and don't worry, they're gonna be fair about it. They're gonna buy it back from us not at the regular cost, but far, far under the cost of gold at the time. And they, they forced people to sell their gold to the government. And the reason why was because people were losing faith all around the world in different countries, just as they are today, in the US dollar. And so they had all these gold-backed currencies that they were finding out, they were printing, starting to print more of them than what they actually had gold in reserve. So that's an illegal scheme. However, because it was a Federal Reserve, they, was allowed, they were allowed to do this, and they did it. And so all of a sudden, people were like tr trading in all these gold backs. They were you know, trying to you know, get their gold because they were like saying, hey, we don't really like what's going on here in the US. We don't trust the US dollar anymore. So let's get all of the physical gold we can. And the government saw this and like, well, we better bail out the Federal Reserve. You know, they're, the, they're the piggy bank. They're the ones that are giving us this money. So they said, OK, no more gold. Um, can be owned and they were getting all the gold back to bail out the Federal Reserve. So re that's really why gold was made illegal is because they needed to get more gold immediately, very quickly uh, back into the reserve, which again, remember, this isn't the government, this is a private entity. And then in 1944, we had the Bretton Woods Agreement and this uh, established the US dollar as the world's reserve currency. And it was set up so that we don't have to back all of our currency like we, you know with gold like we used to do and then eventually in 1971 nixon said you know what i want to do something good for america i want to say hey you guys can have all the gold you want now you can it's not illegal to have anymore and really it wasn't about uh, us being able to own gold again it was really because in the background what he was doing is taking away the gold standard totally so now um, out of greed the governments around the world can just start printing as much paper currency as they want and printing it into an oblivion. So now our currency is in this huge downward spiral as you can see from here. So today, what a dollar would have bought you back a hundred years ago, today is worth like, a dollar is worth like three actual cents. If you wanna put it in real terms. So if you have an actual dollar bill, then that dollar bill is $1, right? But that same dollar would have bought you $26 worth of goods back before all this happened, before we were, the gold was taken, we were taken off the gold standard. So that's the truth. It was 26 times the buying power. That's huge. Um, so that's important to understand. So I know I went into a little bit on, in depth on that, but it was really important to understand this is where we're at right now. And now we have not only nothing backing our currency, we have a debt that cannot be paid off. There's no way to even borrow enough money more money to pay off the, de the old debt that we have. Um, and remember that when, when you're holding the currency, when you're holding currency, you're putting it in your bank, whatever, when you're holding that, you're actually accumulating debt because now when they're printing new currency to pay for something new that someone else has, it makes the old currency, the debt more debt and, and worth less money. So, so that's kind of how the whole, this whole cycle works. And we're at a point where we can't pay off the debt. It's impossible. Um, I don't think they're going to do a, a comp confiscation again, because at this point, if they had all the gold in, in, in the world, it's still not going to even scratch the surface of the debt that we have. So there's no point. Um, so a lot of people speculate that it's not going to ever happen again. Um, and, and so there's that. Plus nowadays it's pretty, um, 
off the books when people are buying silver gold. And you know, we don't have to report the purchase of silver gold here unless someone is buying ten thousand dollars or more and paying cash for it. Um, and there's many other ways to to buy it other than cash. So so there there you go. All right, I'm going to keep moving on. So precious metal assets. <clears throat> Basically, what you need is you need to charge up your wealth, and it's like plugging your phone in. You need to plug it into something, and in that that is your your wallet, if you will. You need to plug it into something that's going to charge it up, something that's going to give you wealth back, and it's an asset. It's really simple as that. Now you can buy other assets. It doesn't have to be precious metals. Think of commodities. You can buy the oil, but it's a little bit harder to store the oil if you want physical. Um, I used to do a lot of day trading with options and, and futures. Um, it was fun, but it's manipulated. You know, this, for example, silver and gold that I was doing trading with back then. If you were trying, this was in the late 90s. If you if if you were to take a call and you actually wanted delivery of it, like Warren Buffett actually did one time, it turned the market to a frenzy because they didn't have enough silver to cover his call order. So again, it's it's really a scheme that's illegal if anybody else did it. Um, but it's important to physically, physically hold your assets and um you know, you can store some, that's fine, but you need the physical assets. And that's where precious metals is the easiest form and way to hold it. Now, there's a little known fact, uh, there's a small little bank called JP Morgan Chase. Uh, they are, um, you know, just a, a bank out there that's probably one of those that's going to get bailed out at some point. Um, and banks are trading in these, this paper currency, the currency they're pushing on everybody else. Um, and I say paper, it can be digital, it's the same thing, it doesn't matter. Most of it is this ones and zeros anyway. Um, now that they're 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 not holding their wealth in that. Banks don't work that way. They're holding their wealth in other assets, including silver and gold. For example, JP Morgan Chase has over 600 million ounces, not million dollars, 600 million ounces of silver that they personally have. Now, what they're like the third biggest holder of silver and it makes you kind of wonder why are they moving so you know heavily into precious metals why are they doing this and some will just go on oblivious and say ah who cares i don't know why they're doing it this is the banks this is banks do stuff this is why it's so important to really look at what they're doing and start doing what they're doing don't do what they're saying for us to do just look at what they're, they're telling us to put all of our money in their savings account where you're getting paid a tenth of a percent, you know, inflation right now is like 8%. Why would we do that? It doesn't make sense. Instead, they're not doing it. Their, their executives are not putting all their money into a savings account. Um, we need to do that. Now it's again, people are going to, going to be oblivious until they know. It's like, you don't know until you know. The world paper fiat currency is changing. Um, we're going into a, a digital currency. It's going to be totally different. Um, it's going to be more controlled. It's going to be, um, people are going to know more about what's, you know, what's happening with it, what you're using it on, how you're spending, how your livelihood is. Um, and they can make more and more of it too. There's, there's not necessarily, it's not, there's no hindrance just like our currency now, but um, matter of fact, less of it, but precious metal are assets and there's two distinct forms of it. Um, you know, there's other forms as well, which we'll talk a little bit about, but there's two main uh, forms of it. And everybody knows about bullion. Now, bullion can be bullion coins or it can be bullion rounds and bars. The difference is, is bullion coins are minted by government. So like the U.S. Mint has the silver eagle and the gold eagle. Canadian Mint has the, the silver maple leaf, and the gold maple leaf and so on and so forth. Australia has lots and lots of coins they mint. And or it can be something like Sunshine Mint or um, something like that, like Amark. You know, they're they're making their own uh, silver and gold. Now the difference is with the with the private mints, it's still the same purity, sometimes more more pure with the private mints, but there's less premium often, so it's cheaper and you can own more of it. So, it, but it really depends. Some people say, "Well, I just like the idea that it's easier to maybe sell like a silver eagle versus a silver." generic silver round, you know, in the future. It's all about preference. I think that either is good. It's just, it's just whatever you prefer. And then there's numismatics. Most people have not ever heard of numismatics. These are collectible coins. They have a different kind of uh, wealth storage. And, um, you know, some people don't like numismatics and some only go with numismatics. I think there's a place for it. And uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Bullion is basically crisis protection, okay? Um, it's, it's 
something that's going to get you through. I, I can't tell you how many people who are clients here at MidBuilder. I've met with one guy personally um, who had been saving silver for a long time and he lost his job and it was like for six months and he was not expecting that to happen, but he had enough silver to put away to pay all of his bills for six months. And that's crisis protection. It's insurance for your wealth. Uh, there's low, like I said, it's lower premiums. It's outperformed cash savings. I mean, obviously a million times. So it's so much, it's, you know, it's like basically zero. You're losing with your cash savings. You're honestly lo losing, you know, lots of percents each month. Numismatics, on the other hand, um, are a little different. The value is above the bullion price. Whatever you see spot price of silver and gold, numismatics isn't necessarily based on that. You know, there's a little small part of it that is based on it, but there's a lot more to it. It's not as market dependent. It's oftentimes, but not always, sonically sealed. So this is encapsulated. This is an example of when it's encapsulated here. And they call it sonically sealed NGC, which is just, just down the road from us. We, we partner with, we use them, have been using them for so many years now. Um, they have the best, I believe they have the best graders. PCGS is also, um, to me, a second place. And then we just don't deal with any other ones. Um, those are the two most trusted. And these are coins that are going to stay in the condition that they're in forever because of this casing that they're sealed into. And grades can go from anywhere from one to 70. 70 is perfect. And that's what you're looking for. That helps, you know, kind of make it a little bit more rare, if you will. So here's an example. Uh, we had these uh, coins. Uh, I know it's 2018, but I think we were selling them in 2019, um, something like that. The cost was $45 for this particular coin. And um, as of last year, we checked towards the end of the year last year, and they're selling for a minimum $175. Um, some of the times you see them for more than $200. Um, just one example. So that's a pretty cool increase. Uh, you buy a few of those and now you have that. I'm not, and I'm, and I'm not cherry picking coins when I put this together. These are just kind of some normal, especially Marvel coins. They're just, that's just how they are. You just have to kind of, numismatics, you, you have to learn a little bit more. So there's a little bit of learning curve with them. So 95% value increase per year is what this particular coin is seen. Here's another one we had from a few years before that. And the member cost was about $150. Um, today, the value is over 800. Sometimes I see them selling for $1,100. And you know, what if you bought 10 or 20? We did have members that bought that many. Um, I mean, you just made a lot of money. Now, there is a secret to this almost instant wealth gains. And that is being able to get the coins at like almost at cost or at cost. And that's what our membership is here about. And that's what I'm going to talk about right now. So there's two distinct people here at MedBuilder. First of all, there's our wholesale customers. That's what it's all about. We are all about getting wholesale customers to come in. It's kind of like Costco or Sam's where you pay for a membership and then you get the best pricing instead of on groceries, on real assets. We have jewelry, we have jewelry bullion, we have bullion, we have numismatics and we have other products as well like um, secure storage and uh, sacred. We have so many, and we'll be talking a little bit more about those in a little bit. And about 86% of all of our clientele are wholesale customers. They are people who purchase wholesale memberships, purchase precious metals, and they're not an affiliate. An affiliate, which makes up about 14%, is how we market our business here at MidBuilder. We've chose to use that as our marketing uh, process instead of um, paying for all the ads. Um, we took the money that would pay for ads and we share that with people who share um, our mint builder memberships and we did it for the main reason was this we know that precious metals are going to save a lot of people's wealth and we also know that some a lot of people are looking for alternative ways to make income as well so why not offer that to our own clients um, to be able to make a little bit of extra stream of streams of income along with preserving their wealth so that's why we chose that that path now, affiliates are those who sell wholesale customer memberships. They sell precious metals and they build a sales organization that does the same thing. Again, it makes up about 14% of our total clientele. So our customers, wholesale customers, have two main choices of memberships. They have the $39 basic wholesale membership and the $79 pro wholesale membership. Um, with them, you're going to get some instant savings. So the basic, you're going to save on average about 10% 
on auto assets. And I'll show you what those auto assets are in a little bit. And with the pro membership, you're going to double your savings on average. You're going to save about 20%. Now, what about in the shop? When you're in the shop buying the, the jewelry, the bullion, the bullion jewelry, the collectibles, all these things in the shop, you're going to save about 15% with a basic membership and about 30% with the pro membership. So it's pretty huge um, amount of savings. Definitely worth it. If you're buying even just a small amount of precious metals, it's worth it um, to be on the pro membership. And that is the majority of our wholesale memberships are on the pro. Um, so storage, you know, maybe you want to store your metals. You don't feel safe having in your house. That's a choice that a lot of our uh, members do choose. Some of our members like to keep it in the safe in their house. It's total preference. It's whatever you prefer to do. Uh, with a basic membership, you're going to save about 30% on, um, actually, there's exactly 30% off of our retail cost. And the pro, it says save 100%. What does that mean? It's free. We give free storage to our pro members. Now, we do have some members that are saving enough metals that just the storage alone is, um, is saving them more than the $79 a month. So, and then if they just, you know, people who are, you know, buying just a small lot of precious metals, the, the membership pays for itself over and over again. Now we do um, have a, a charity that we work with. We have a work with, I've been working with them since 2010 personally. Um, I'll talk about them in a little bit. And the basic membership provides one meal to a child every month and the pro provides two meals. Uh, we have a precious metals knowledge base. It's uh, quite extensive. It has training and some other things I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, we have an open vault market seller access. You can sell your silver and gold. It's kind of like eBay without the bidding and without the hassle. Um, you have access to all of our clientele, so you can sell your silver and gold that way. We have a 100% shot buyback guarantee. Nobody in the industry... Uh, that we're in has a hundred percent shop buyback guarantee. If we're selling it in the shop and you want to currently, and you want to sell it, we'll buy it back for the current buy current selling price. And, you know, a lot of times members will do that and they're actually making money and they bought it from us at one price and they sell it back to us at a higher price. That happens all the time. Um, with the membership, we give you a little sample. So you every single month with a basic, you're going to get a 10th ounce of silver. Um, bullion sent to you every month for free. And with the pro, you're going to get two one tenth ounce silver rounds sent to you every single month. And you do have access to the, the affiliate platform. Again, um, you don't have to, it's just an option. It's free. Um, you know, like I said, about 14% of our clients um, do utilize that, but about 86% don't. So it's totally up to you. It's free there. Um, that, that software is um, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And so it's cool to have that act, that option if you want. You also have wholesale access to MyNet Wallet. We'll cover that a little bit later too. That's This is something brand new. It's really awesome. And with the pro membership, you also have free premium hurdler tax app. I use it. It tracks your miles for you automatically and does a lot of stuff for your taxes. If you own a business, which I highly encourage you to have an LLC, if you have anything that you can be doing business stuff with so you have more tax write-off, um, this is a great tool. And then discounts on travel attractions, which I also use this all the time. It's really great to have. Um, pardon me for one second. Okay, so <clears throat> we'll jump right into here. So we got the total value of the basic. It's over $80 a month in value. And the pro is over $200 a month in value. Okay, so <clears throat> here is the, uh, the auto assets that you can automatically save. So what is an auto asset? It's an asset, silver and gold. And it's something you can set it and forget it. So you can put it on a monthly savings and every single month, you know, you're going to get this amount. So you can, you can click on quantity, you know, so maybe I want five gold grams and I want like two ounces of silver. So I just click it on it and then you can set that. Now, the cool thing is, is that you can change or pause it or cancel it at any time. So it's kind of cool. So you maybe you want a gram of gold this month and next month you want a five ounce silver bar. <coughs> It's totally up to you. It's all. It's all, it's always under your control to be able to do whatever you want with it. So what does it look like? You got your platinum grams. You have your one gram gold. You have ten ounce silver bars, five ounce silver bars, one ounce silver rounds. Here's the tenth ounce um, silver rounds. You can add more of those. You're going to get one or two of those every month, depending on your membership. Um, you have graded MS seventy silver eagles for the best price anywhere in two and a half gram, five, 10 gram um, gold bars. You have all these different options to choose from. 
Uh, we also have Vault Storage. Again, it's free uh, for Pro members. And we have the MyMint Wallet, which I'll talk about in a little bit. I'm really excited um, about this, this new thing we've added. We worked really hard on it. It took us a lot of months to set up, but it's a, it's a way to get um, silver and gold instantly, buy it instantly, sell it instantly, transfer it instantly. And then we have um, something we call my sacred account. It's like you're being your own bank. You can save, um, you're basically saving money and it's also a life insurance policy and you can always borrow against it and pay yourself back. So that way you're not paying interest to some rando bank. Instead, you're just paying it all back to yourself. And even if you take the money out, you're still earning interest on it as if it's still in there. And that's pretty cool. I use that um, and Allison uses it. And it's, it's, it's just a really nice uh, feature to have. Here's the knowledge base. Just kind of give you an example. So you can go through and see um, a whole, when you click on any one of these squares, it's going to open up a whole new thing. And you're going to see all the benefits, FAQs. We have an academy where you can learn. We're always adding new new courses to that. We have our own blogs and the Mind Wall Wallet access, the Mike Sacred Account access, a training library. Um, so if you don't say, I don't know how to do this or that, it's all there. Sales tips and tools. And we also put out gold and silver um, and banking, different things and news of what's happening. So you can kind of stay current on everything. Now your subscription does have a deeper impact as I was talking about me, I just kind of briefly mentioned earlier. Uh, we do partner with Feed My Starving Children. Like I said, I've been a part of the organization for um, about 13 years now, and you're being able to feed children all over the entire world, and not just third world countries, but even like here, right here in the United States, in the UK, Canada, and you know, in Africa and in Mexico, all over the world. Uh, they're in over 100 countries. And why I like this organization so much is because 91% of all of the money that goes to them is used directly for the food. That is, if any of you are um, understanding of 501c3 nonprofits, that is an extremely high number. Oftentimes it's like 50% to 80%. And they have ways of getting uh, into countries where most people can't get into because they've been doing this for a long time. And the meals are, I've seen the results and it's, it's amazing. So uh, you can feel good, not only knowing that you're saving precious metals and maybe referring other people to save precious metals and say, you know, protect their wealth, but also, you know, feeding people around the world. So I just, I absolutely love it. Now I want to take one second and I want to show you the MyMet wallet. Um, I think it's, uh, I think it's really awesome because uh, just to be able to see it, what's going on with it. Now, this is, just a demo account that we have. And this is what it looks like. It's really cool. So you come into your own MyMint wallet. It's gonna show you your current gold holdings and you can buy gold as little as one one hundredth of an ounce at a time, super affordable that way. So you're talking like, what, like $20 uh, for, for, you know, one share of gold basically. Um, and, you, and you can buy silver by the ounce and it tells you your current holdings of everything. Down here, it tells you um, the gold spot price that you paid, the silver spot price you paid. And then if you sold any of it, um, transferred it, it tells you how much is in green because it means you cashed out. And then it tells you the total amount um, of spot price that you paid less the transferred, you know, sold amount. So, for example, you know, in, we had bought this over, over time. As you can see the different months, it shows you how much you paid, um, how much you bought in, in those different times and sold. And then down here, it shows you your, your current holdings and you can see the total current holdings of this account is 1409. So um, we only paid a thousand nine. So that's kind of cool. We made 400, uh, over $400 in profit um, just because of what's happening in the precious metals market. So it's, a, it's kind of like a Robin Hood or something, if you will, but just specifically with only gold and silver, and again, you can buy gold as small as one hundredth of an ounce and silver one ounce. And then down here, it tells you a chart that keeps track of when you sell something, how much you sold it for, and your purchase price, how much you purchased right here. Um, and if you can, you can transfer, and I'll show you what the transfer is. So <clears throat> if you have another more than one account, or if you um, have a family member or a friend or someone you want to encourage, you can actually transfer um, 
the what what some of your holdings to them um and it's pretty cool it, it'll it'll show you it's running a little slow because i have a, a zoom going but here we go so you can type you can select their account number because it'll only show you the, the account numbers of people you have um, and then you can select the amount of gold that you want to transfer and it'll only have the amount that you're holding same thing with the silver and then you just transfer it and it goes right to them so instant, just like that. It's like Venmo with gold and silver. Um, and if you want to sell it, it's the exact same process. It looks just like this. You can say how much gold or how much silver you want to sell. Um, right here you go. Um, you just put that in, put how much you want to put in and then push sell now. Uh, you want to buy, everything is instant. So the moment you do it in just a second, it's already taken care of for you. So here you go. You can see retail price, um, basic member price, pro price. Um, on all the stuff so you can select um, how much you want to buy and sell and it automatically goes um, into your into your account so uh, again super cool super easy process um, it doesn't doesn't take much to do uh, i'm going to show you really quick also before i head out of here and, and go on with the presentation going into the affiliate side um, so this would be the back office section so let's say that i clicked on sell you know a share of gold it's gonna go right here into my mint wallet cash. So instantly, as soon as I push it, you don't have to wait for a buyer, it's done, it's sold. So you now have this cash. So you say, what can I do with the cash? Well, you can go into the shop and you can buy some with it right now. So buy some physical silver and gold, have it delivered to you. Okay, so if you don't have it delivered, where is it? This, when you're buying silver and gold through us, we've partnered with IDS of Texas and IDS of Delaware and they store it for you physically so every single 100th of an ounce of gold and one ounce of silver that you own is physically being stored um, in allocated storage that's, that's um, in your name and uh, under mint builders account as a master account holder so it's all being stored physically for you now again if you want to cash out of it you or you want to take physical delivery you just push sell and then you go to shop and you just buy it and then we'll transfer that out of our out of the storage account um, and then you're buying the physical and getting it delivered so that's how easy that is um, or if you want the cash then you just simply when you go into your platform you just set it up so that you you want to cash out to your bank you put your banking information in and then every single monday we just we run um, a script that automatically pushes out all the funds so the money will be pushed on a monday it'll be pushed right into your bank account so you can spend it immediately you can transfer it immediately with, i'm talking about within seconds or you can cash out and we pay out once a week so you have all these options it's really cool uh, again <clears throat> this was something that took a long time to program and we're super excited as you can probably tell um, to be able to have that in place so with that, I'm going to jump back into the presentation. Okay, so uh, take one break straight there. Okay, so again, we don't stop with just accumulating real assets. We also understand that many people are seeking more income today. 14% of all of our clients, for example, are doing just that. Um, they're looking for different ways to earn. So we have something called, it's it's our income platform. It's affiliate um, payout. We, we allow people to refer people to Mint Builder. And then instead of marketing, we pay them commissions. And now I'm gonna go through and show you exactly how that works. First of all, with the affiliate platform, now you don't have to be a wholesale member um, to be an affiliate with Mint Builder. We do, it's free if you're a wholesale member, which we highly encourage you to be a basic or pro. So that way you're practicing what you're preaching. You're actually collecting assets every month and there's no better place to get it than through Mint Builder because it's gonna be the cheapest you can get it anywhere else. But if you don't want anything to do with that part of it, you just want to be a salesperson, that's okay. We do have a $9 affiliate only platform and then you're just paying for the platform, the use of the service, um, you know, because of the cost, you know, that, that'll cover that. You're going to get an e-commerce website. You're going to get your own precious metal shop that's coded to you. You're going to have your own sales team software. We're going to take care of all of the maintenance and trust me, we have a full IT team staff um, that we you know it, there's a lot we're, we're kind of half precious metals company and half technology company uh, we have a lot of technology in the background here um, you'll have your own training um, you have your own marketing tools you, you have a free silver lead capture uh, funnel 
Uh, autoresponder emails are, are sent for you on your behalf. We have all the, we do all the payment processing. You don't have to worry about taking credit cards or doing any of that kind of stuff. Uh, we do all the order fulfillment on your behalf, and there's unlimited commissions to be earned. How, what kind of commissions? 13 different streams of income to be exact. Um, you earn 10% on personal referrals of memberships, 5% um, on the memberships of your, te your team, your tiers two through five, 1% on uh, add-on assets that you personally refer, and a tenth of a percent on all of your, your tiers two through five team memberships. And it's amazing that we're, they even be able to earn on these asset add-ons because they are super competitive prices. You're not going to find probably anywhere else that you can get these assets, even on, on auto asset, um, <clears throat> for cheaper anywhere else, and especially for the pro pricing. And yet we're still able to squeeze out a little bit of commission uh, because we know it's important for those who are referring the business and we want to get more people referring. And so we're able to do that. 10% on retail, 1% um, on bullion, because bullion is a more competitive market, but on all the rest of the retail is 10%. 5% um, on retail from your um, tiers two through five team. And then we have this thing called infinity bonus. I'm not gonna go into great depths on that. We do have a um, uh, income training presentation that you, the person who invited, you can send that to you. And you can, you can learn way more about this from that. Uh, but the Infinity has a way to earn an extra 5% in addition and plus an infinite in depth. So we are a unilevel structure, which means it has unlimited width, but also with Infinity bonus, it's unlimited in depth. Um, so it's kind of like a binary that's, that's uncapped on width. So it's like the perfect scenario to be able to earn. And the same thing on your asset add-ons, you're able to earn on those Infinity. And then we also have a 50 and 100% match on the infinity bonus of your team. <clears throat> and then we have a car bonus for the leaders that are out really producing and even a lifestyle bonus. Now, I'm gonna show you just really fast run through what it looks like um, if you're building out a team of, let's say, you know, you have five you know, customers that come in that also want to you know, market this potential business. And, and memberships to other people. And then you teach those five to do the same thing. So it's a five by five setup. And this is gonna be based on um, the pro membership because that is our number one selling membership right now. Um, and it's based on just the average um, of the auto assets, just one of them, quantity one of, of the average of all the auto asset price prices. And so when you do refer five, um, new customers on to want the pro membership, you're going to be earning $55 a month. And, and again, this is just a, kind of showing you a, a law of averages. <laughs> and then when you help your five do the same, if they're interested in doing that, if they're not, then you can find more people. Um, you know, again, you know, a lot of people are looking for wholesale pricing. That's fine. That's what we're all about. But then if you want to have five people who are referring other people, then just refer more people. Um, and when you do that and you complete, you know, the next tier of five, then now you're talking about $225 a month. So still not a lot of money, but it's helpful uh, coming into the household. And then your tier three, you're talking about earning about $1,000 a month. And, and this is residual income. So once the sales are made, you're going to continue to make this kind of money. Tier four is now putting you to about a thousand weeks. So for a lot of people, this is a full-time income. Um, and again, the residual income. So it's pretty cool to be able to do that. Um, and you're also tapping into the lifestyle bonus. You already are earning the car bonus at this point as well. Um, this is an addition. It's $2,000 extra a month for a whole year. Um, but uh, this is a continual process of 1,000 a week. And then by the time you finish your unilevel at tier five, you're earning about $5,000 a week. Now, does that mean that's all you can make? No, but for most people, that's as realistic as it gets. You know, let's be honest, you know, most people are Big team leaders, they're not looking to, you know, try to be, you know, multimillionaires and, re and referring people to a precious metals company. However, we do have some leaders that do uh, make, can make a lot more than this and make more, you know, that do make more than this. This is, you're talking about $5,000 a week. Remember, this is a unit level that has five tiers. Now, again, this, the level with the infinity is, is unlimited. You can go down to six tiers, a hundred tiers, a thousand tiers deep. Um, so the potential to make $15,000, $20,000 a week, it, it's there, you know, there, it's, un, it's untapped. 
Um, we don't cap any of it off. So it, it is the potential is there for those who are uh, big networkers. And I know we have some people on here who are, and that's awesome. So you know that the income is unlimited here at MidBuilder. And at this point, you're earning the, the maximum amount on the lifestyle bonus, which is $8,000 a month for a year. So that's a cool added bonus for those leaders. Now it's real simple. You just go, you know, get back to the person referred you, get onto their website. They have their own referred le website. And then you just click this button right here that says get started um, or in the top under products, you click on drop down and then it says memberships. Either way, it doesn't matter. It leads you to the same page where you either pick basic or pro and then you scroll down and then you pick what auto assets do I want to start saving? And remember, you can change it anytime. And let's say you get on the pro membership. You can, you can go to the basic next month if you want, or if you're on the basic, you can upgrade to the pro next month. We also have it in annual options. So instead of paying monthly, you can pay annually. And when you do that, you're going to save a lot of money. Uh, we've, you know, knocked off like hundreds of dollars by, you know, doing it that way. So all that is your option. And it really is simple to start accumulating. Um, that's the main thing here at MidBuilder is accumulating true wealth. Um, and that's what we're looking to do. And so that is... The simplicity of MedBuilder, again, I believe it is no better time than right now to be able to start saving precious metals. It is so key, so critical uh, to start putting away, you know, as much uh, assets as you can. Um, I do it. My wife does it. Our, we have even for our kids to do it. Um, and, and our family, any family who, you know, who understands the concept is doing it as well. Uh, at the very least, <clears throat> utilizing the MyMint wallet um, so you can get really cheap and have it stored for free for you. Um, you can, you know, we have a lot of members. Um, I, I see some on here right now that who buy it and they use it amongst their team to pay for things. So like, again, like I said, it's like Venmo. It's really cool. Um, so at the very least, this is um, what we're talking about doing. Now, I will take time now and to answer questions. But what I'm going to do here is I am going to